Hello everybody, it's me Paddy from Across the Shock and uh, this is a, an unboxing video and as you can see in the title, an unboxing and a confession. If you want to see what the confession is, head towards the end of the video. And after the, um, the Sheffield knife, then the confession comes. If not, hang on in there. I've been away down the caravan as you know, I've been down there all week so I'll come back and there's quite a few wee parcels and I thought well I'll do an unboxing but I've unboxed them if you like but I'm just going to show you. So this first one as you can see here, dark arts leather handmade in the UK. Now I just had my draw for my 5,000 subscriptions and a fella called John Carmichael won it. I had not met John before, and this is where you have to take me on my trust. I've not met him before. Um, I knew he had, he had commented, obviously, on the video, and he had won my prize. So, and he was in the UK, which is just amazing. So it was easy just to, that Monday I sent the prize off to him. Little did I know that John owns this company called Dark Arts Leather. Now, he didn't ask me, he just said, Stephen, I'm going to send you something. To have a look at and just just for your for you so i thought that's really really nice of you so i came back i wasn't expecting it this week i just thought it'd be sometime so i came back and there's little cards here and there's some it's dark arts leather and it's hand made in the uk and this is what do you call it um let me just get the back of this now it's natural leather balm and protectant and this lovely card that he has made so I thought that was really, really nice of him. And to be honest with you, it's, this is lovely when you get something that's completely unexpected and out of somebody's just generosity. He won the prize, so he just sent it back. So inside it, I've also got this leather little key ring with a bottle opener on it. It says, have a beer on me. And I have some of his cards here. And I shall cut one of his cards out and put it on my desk because I thought that was a lovely thing to do. Now he does all sorts of leather work, all sorts, but he sent me this that he said was, uh, and look, I even got a little thing and it says, Dark Arts Leather, dear Paddy, thank you for your custom. Isn't that just, it really is. This is the sort of stuff I like when you get a wee bit extra for what you're paying for. And I have no idea what these cost. I haven't gone onto his site because I just thought it was a lovely gift. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Now, this is so soft. I can't tell you how soft this leather is. It is sumptuous. Really sumptuous. And there's two little pockets here for a knife, for a torch. And if you want to put money or your credit card in the back of it, what a beautiful little front pocket uh, wallet come um, EDC carry. So I was really, John, thank you so much, over the moon. And what I've said to him, I spoke to him since, and I said, look, I'll use it, um, and I'll tell you what, what I think of it in a couple of weeks. I'll do a little review of it on the channel. But I just thought that was just so generous and kind of John. And uh, I'll put his details down below in the description. And you can have a wee... Have we look at us? Is I'm gonna. I wanted to do this before I had a look at what's on the site, so I haven't even had a look at what's on the site. I just thought that was lovely, and I wanted to give him a shout out. Really, really nice. So that's the first thing. There'll be a review coming of everything, obviously. That's here. Next thing is Brother Knives have sent me another knife for review. Now, I didn't realize it was this one. I thought it was another one, but this is quite a large knife. And it has, by the looks of it, it's like a wooden handle. Um, big clip on it there. Strange looking at the front. And it's now, it's a very weak detent. But it's a liner lock, so it doesn't have to be a strong detent. But a most beautiful clip blade on it. And it's 440C, yes, 440C. This is the Brother 1612. 1612. A big substantial knife when I say big let me just give you a measurement so you can see what size one two three four five six seven eight just over eight and a half so she's a good size the blade the cutting length of the blade is three and a half so a really substantial knife not over thick which is good and um, in my hand so far a couple of little sharp spits in the inside here that would probably need it would take nothing to get them away but a couple of 
but to be quite honest, quite comfortable. Um, I love this. Uh, it's like a like a dagger guard here that you can get great purchase on that way, or you can sneak up. <coughs> Excuse me. The choil is really nice. So, although it's not my personal choice for a knife, it's not a bad looking big knife, and the price is. It's a brother price, so I mean, it, it'll it be a really good price. But there'll be a review coming on that in due course. Locks up there with a liner lock. Locks it lovely. And away it goes. Will it? Yep. Just that weak detent is my one and only thing so far. But we'll see what it's like. I'll give it a try and then we'll come back to it as normal. Now, the next thing. Now, this, I had ordered this for the caravan. I needed a, a, a big kitchen knife. This is a bit bigger than what I need, but I just thought it was lovely. And this is this is an old hickory made in the USA, Ontario Knife Company. Oh yeah, it's made in the USA, and it has a length of eleven point six nine inches overall. The blade length is seven point zero six. Uh, it's high carbon steel, rock well that. <coughs> Excuse me. 57 to 59 and it's a hardwood handle an old hickory hardwood handle isn't that just stunning it's a real carbon steel it's starting to go already but what a lovely big knife i'll enjoy using this in the kitchen <laughs> i just love it now i know it's not necessarily the channel but it is cutlery and it's you know it's every bit is a right to be on there and i'll take it down the caravan i'll give it a good go but what a great camp knife what a great camp knife. Nice and thin to do sort of the, the smaller tasks. But kindling and things like that. What a perfect knife to do it with. So, I'm pleased with that. Love that. And next, I'm hiring through these because there's another two, but the last one's going to take a wee bit. That's where the confession comes in. The next one is not, the, this is a little leather case. This is from Davidson Leather, the wee case, but... I had sent, sent off to the famous Sheffield shop, and it's the, well, let me just see what they call it in full. It's www.sheffield-made.com. Again, I'll put the details in the description. But it's sent off for, I had reviewed a couple of weeks ago, a, a knife from Slick Slicers, which was stunning quality, and it was a Sheffield made one at Sheffield in England. So... I couldn't really afford the knife that he had got because it was well over £100. So I went for the cheaper version just to see what sort of quality I would get. And I, I opted for buffalo horn. And as you can see, this is not buffalo horn. But within a, a week or so, they contacted me and said, look, they couldn't get the grade of buffalo horn they wanted. They didn't want to send me a knife with, you know, a lesser grade buffalo horn than what I was paying for, which I thought was lovely. They said, look... We'd be quite happy to send you a stag one for no extra charge. It was about £11 more. So I said, that's lovely. That'll do me. You know, I just wanted to see what the company was like and what sort of knives they were putting out in the cheaper version of Slick Slicers one. So this is what came. I would say it's about a seven and a half, eight pull. It's a good, strong pull. Look at that beautiful clip. Beautiful. And this stag bone, if I can bring that up, just look at that. It is stunning. Really nice. It's nearly like a, a Coke bottle shape. Now, it's dark here, but it it's very, very even. Both bits of stag have been matched really well. I just think it is beautiful. The fit and finish on it, although really nice, it's not perfect. Let me just get you there. It's a wee bit... This is flush. Completely flush. But when you close it, it's a bit proud there, ever so slightly. And look, this is a £48 knife, $55, $56 knife. I just think for what I'm paying for, I am more than happy with that. That's that's the only sort of fit and finish issue that I've got on it. Other than that, there's no gapping at all. Um, the cutoff's not great, but again, this is this. I want this as a working knife. And to have a stag handle as a working knife is not bad going. Good stiff pull on it. I, I like a stiff pull. Now, the only, again, one more thing. It's off centre to the left. Quite well off centre to the left. But as yet, it's not rubbing on the side. So, look, it's a work knife. It's a handmade knife. 
completely handmade, I can accept that and no worries. Oh, there we are, it's starting to scratch a wee bit where that the tip isn't hitting the side, but obviously just a wee bit there. I've just seen that. Not bother me at all. This is a working knife. So I'm really pleased that I've got it. I just think it is stunning looking. And what a knife to bring out as a work knife. So I've been carrying that today and I'll continue to carry it, use it, and I'll come back to you and let you know what it's like. Now, here comes the confession. Look, I've been very fortunate this last, this last couple of months. I've had people that have sent me stuff that has been just beyond what anybody should get. I've been lucky all the way through my, my YouTube journey. But I need to say now, I don't need anything. Thank you so much for anybody. And I know somebody's just sent me a, a, a little present and I want to thank them for it and it'll be received with joy. But for the moment, I don't need anything else. I have been blessed. And as you know, I had sold my mother's house. It's me and two other brothers. It was only a wee terraced house. Not a lot of money, but enough money to, to give me enough money to buy knives that I don't need any help at the moment. So once again, thank you to everybody who's helped me recently. And, you know, I have just the list of people is just too big to go on. But now, here's my little guilty pleasure. When the house was sold, if you know my story, when my father passed away, I bought a knife in his name. I'm just trying to get it now. Here it is. It was my most expensive knife. It was this hinderer. And I bought this in memory of my father. And he had left me a wee bit of money, so that's what that was. When the house was sold, um, I'd done the same thing again when I had the money. I bought a knife. Mother passed away last year. And when the, the, the sale went through there a couple of weeks ago, I, I spent more money than I've ever spent on a knife. And it was, it was literally... A week after a certain gentleman called Jason um, Gulfoyle had sent me a huge box uh, for which I'm eternally grateful. I got a beautiful box of knife. And I felt guilty about showing this knife on the channel because I bought it, I say, just before his box arrived. I had no idea he was going to send me such a box. And I haven't shown it because of the guilt of spending that much money and then getting a box of knives from somebody. So... I know Jason would not think like that. I know most people would not think like that, but I do. And, and it sort of, it really hit me. And as my wife says, don't be so stupid, just go and put it on your channel. So I bought a knife that probably none of you will think Stephen will have bought or Patty will have bought. It's just not my typical kind of knife, much as this hinderer wasn't at the time. Um, it was never on the radar. And I'd always said that I'd want a Chris Reeves knife. I didn't buy a Chris Reeves knife. But I bought one that's ex as expensive as a Chris Reeve knife. And it's from a company who you probably wouldn't think I would even look at. And yet I do. It's my dirty pleasure. <laughs> so I'm just going to show you. I'm not going to even show you. Look. Now, <laughs> anybody that is in the knife world knows what that big M stands for. It's a Medford. Made in the USA. Completely. And let me just get this. There we go. It's the Slim Midi. And it's an S35BN. It's tumbled. It's drop point. It's uh, blue. And it's just beautiful. So I'm now going to just have you give you a quick look. It comes with all the Medford. It's brand new. It was bought from Heine Haynes over here in the UK which is a, a company that I can trust over here. I know it's I paid probably a bit more than what I should have, but for this kind of money, I, I wanted something. I just love the way that comes. Look at the dog tag and this waterproof box, which is so nice. Um, inside it, the knife just comes wrapped in bubble wrap. You have, I'm not going to go through this. I'll go through it when I'm doing it. But I had seen this knife and have been lusting after this knife. Because although I don't like the big Medfords, not that I don't like them, they're not a knife that I would choose because they are big and bulky. But look at this. This is the Slim Midi. It's tumbled. It's blue. Its handle is just over four inches, about four and a quarter inches. And listen to this. Oh, it's just 
beautiful. The blade is three and a half inches with a cutting edge of just literally over three inches. It is stunning with this big hollow grind. Now, it is incredibly thin. It is just so light. It is beautiful. I just love it. And I have been using it and playing with it and fondling it for now, well, right, a right few weeks because I've been too embarrassed to put it on the channel. But I think if you know me, you'll know that I would never have done anything. Um, well, I just wouldn't have asked for stuff. I was struggling at the time before the house got sold and I didn't have so. Anyway, look, if if you think I've been taking the mickey, I'm sorry. It was never my intention. Um, if you know me, you'll know I wouldn't do it. But again, my, this is my father passed away, mother passed away. I bought another really expensive knife and completely different than what you would expect me to buy. And to be honest with you, I can't wait to review this because I have so much to say, so much misconception about Medford knives. Um, this is just stunning. It really is beautiful. But we'll get back to that. So that's my confession. Um, again, thank you so much to everybody. Um, a special thank you to, I've forgotten his blooming name now. Stephen, you're terrible. Let me just get this. John Carmichael, who won my prize and sent me that beautiful stuff. And uh, I'm away. I hope, I hope I haven't offended anybody. It was not my intention, trust me. Um, and I hope you'll enjoy the review of this, which will come in about a week's time. I have a few more things that I want to test with. I haven't cut wood or anything with it yet, and I want to do that this week down the caravan. I'll maybe do a wee video for Instagram. All right, folks, I'm away. Thank you so much. God bless you all. Paddy's gone. Cup of tea time.